asking God what you must do if you must change. Power, power, power. Get out of the chair. You're tired to say things have no what it happened to your mother. It could have. Say. The world will never be the same. Everywhere I go, I receive my favor. I lose the job. I lose healing. Body realign. So we're talking about enlarging your borders. That's the, that's the message. Enlarge your borders. And that's what God says to tell you. Enlarge your borders. Think differently. Enlarge your territory. That means your money going enlarge. That means your business must enlarge. Now I was before God and I said, Lord, but how can they step into this enlargement? I said, Lord, how should I teach them to step into that? And the Lord revealed to me, he said, the same way I did it. So while I was before God, he took me through some scriptures as to what he did. And he said, if them follow away him though, you'll get the same results. So let's check out how God enlarged his borders. Let's go to Psalm 33. Psalm 33, and we're going to look at verse 6 and verse 9. I must show you some stuff in this. Hallelujah. How did the sovereign God increase stuff? Read, read up. Verse 6. By the word of the Lord were the heavens made. So you hear that. By the word of the Lord was the heavens made made yes and all their host by the breath of his mouth so watch us now underline two things the word of the lord and breath of his mouth the word of the lord and breath of his mouth let's go to verse 9 now verse 9 for he spoke yes and it was done so he spoke what the word of the Lord. Or he spoke his word and it was done. What else? He commanded and it stood fast. So God says, tell them, by the word of the Lord and the breath of your mouth, things shall happen in 2017. So that means you must open your mouth. Breath must leave your mouth with the word of the Lord. So by the word of the Lord and the breath of your mouth, that means you have to say something. There are some things that you have to talk about and there are other things you must command. Now this is where the church, people in the body of Christ have lost it. We love prayer. Some of us pray too much. Make us say it again. Some of us pray too much. We pray for everything. There are some things that will not respond to prayer. It responds to a command. The sovereign God says, he spoke some things and he commanded something. So why do you think you must just pray about everything? You're quiet. God says, there are some things you're going to have to speak to. And there are other things you're going to have to command. And some of us are talked to everything. I, listen, your enemy don't want to let you go sometime, you know. You have to command him to let you go. Hallelujah. So remember these two things. The word of the Lord, breath of my mouth. Let's say after me, the word of the Lord. And the breath of my mouth. And the breath of my mouth. So if there is no breath released from your mouth, you will not get what the word of the Lord does. Is no cute gospel. Don't say to folks, well, I'm not the type. You know, some of us no like say nothing. Our ministry is the no say nothing ministry. And others of us always. One joined the goat ministry. Which one that? Watch me. We always have a bubble gum. Throughout the whole service. 
Goat ministry. Always a true. But you know, say nothing. You're going to have to learn in 2017 that whatever God says, he mean it. And you can't fool your hand anymore. You fool it too long. Yeah. Hallelujah. So, what are the two things again? The word of the Lord and what? The of Touch your sense of the breath of my mouth. The of my mouth. And the word of the Lord. Is my victory 2017 so you must have a word in your mouth hallelujah now let me show you now because while I was before God you see I take my time when I go before God precious enough me go for answers hallelujah I go for answers to bring to his people the Lord says now, take them son along the same path that I went. So let me show you how God did stuff. Let's go to Genesis 1. So in Genesis 1, and we're going to read from verse 1 to 4. Are we in Genesis 1? It's not the back of the book, sister, the front. Hallelujah. In Genesis 1, verse 1 to 4, I want you to pay special attention here. Let's go read up, read. Verse 1. In the beginning, yes. God prepared, formed, fashioned, and created the heavens and the earth. Yes. Verse 2. All of us know that from day one, but pay attention to what comes next. Keep going. Verse 2. The earth was without form. Underline that. Without form. The earth was without form. Underline that. Keep going. And an empty waste. Underline that. Empty waste. Without form and empty waste. Keep going. And a darkness. Underline that. Darkness. So you have without form, empty waste, and darkness. That's the situation that fears God. Keep going now. And the darkness was upon the face of the very great deep. So remember now. Empty ways, without form, and dark. That's all God had before him. Watch this. Read. The Spirit of God was moving, hovering, brooding over the face of the waters okay and let me add this other verse it's not in your bible but let me add it apostle scott's verse watch this the spirit of the lord read again when it says the spirit of the lord was what was moving uh -huh. hovering brooding over the face of the waters but this is my part i'm adding but nothing happened 